His base is significant. It is small but significant, and it isn't weakening. Republican strategist and CBS News contributor Frank Luntz spoke with Trump supporters about what they think of the president's performance. The group had 13 men and seven women ranging in age from 20 to 63. All of them voted for Mr. Trump in November. Their opinions of the president range from somewhat unfavorable to extremely favorable. Did the Russians intervene in this election? No, I mean, they didn't get into the voting machines and change votes. It wouldn't have made any difference one way or the other. Um, now, did they try to hack the election? We found out from the leaker, uh, that woman, that yes, they did, but they weren't successful. Should we be investigating this? Yeah, but not for the it's, purpose it's of... been investigated. So you think we're done? There's nothing more to learn? Why not learn more? But learn more. don't do it for the purpose of overturning an election. Do it for the purpose of learning how we can put walls up, how we can keep... Isn't that what's happening now? If the Russians affected the election, then that means they changed the minds of the American people. Right. And that's not what happened. The whole purpose of this is to have an investigation to see if there are specifics. Do you want to shut that investigation down? Yeah, mm -hmm. I Why? do. Because it, it, it's a, a giant, huge waste of time. If, if there's an investigation into this whole Russian thing, then it needs to be on, well, they physically went into our machines, hacked our machines, this whole hacking thing, and actually changed the election results. People read fake stuff on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram all day. Anybody could put that up. I could put it up. You could put it up. Okay, so he's had, we're now in the middle of June. I want you to give me one word or phrase to describe Donald Trump. Now that we have some idea of who he is, give me a word or phrase to describe Donald Trump. I'd say honest. Determined. Effective. True. Strong. Productive. Yeah. Tough SOB. <laughs> Very authentic. How many of you in this room love the tweeting? You think it's really appropriate for a president to do that? It could be better. Yeah. It, it could be better. He needs to tone down the language a little bit. But the bottom line is it's his way to get the message out. I would argue that Donald Trump shouldn't tone it down. This brash brand that he has right. is what got him elected. Yes. You know, my thing is I'm so tired of people beating on Donald Trump. Donald Trump made his promises, he kept them, and that's yep, the type of exactly. new leadership well, that we need. And what has he accomplished? What has he accomplished? He's done them. more in the last 100 days than President Obama done in the last eight years. Such as? Such as keeping his promises. I want to know what promises he kept. One thing, no. one promise I can say that he did keep is he elected a conservative to the Supreme Court. Yeah. And you know what? That's the best promises that, promise that he's kept so far. By this point, George W. Bush already had his tax cut done. Good for him. Plus, Trump we is wouldn't not know. getting much help from Congress. He is not getting it's a lot a of help. It's a Republican Congress. He's not, he talks about draining the swamp. And I think what we're finding real quick in the first 100 days is the swamp is not just the Democrats. There's more fighting among the Republicans than there is between the Republicans and Democrats on his agenda. And if they don't get it figured out, 2018 is going to be ugly for the Republicans. Who thinks he's going to be president for eight years? Raise your hands. Let's say he doesn't get health care. Let's say he doesn't get tax reform. Let's say he doesn't get the investment in infrastructure. Those are three key commitments that he made. Who here would consider not voting for him in that situation? Raise your hands. So you're voting for him no matter what? No matter what. No matter what he does. I'm Donald Trump. What would you tell me? Stay focused on the big picture issues and get that legislative agenda passed through on the economy and things will get a lot better. Stay true to the promises that you um, gave us. Listen to your cabinet, and Democrats aren't your enemies. Remember what got you to the office. Remember the people, the promises were results oriented. We have to be in this critical stage of our country. Oh my God.